During the pre-season stage at Camp Amor, the sporting director Antonio Fernandez was interviewed by Malaga Football Club TV to share the most up-to-date news about Malaga Football Club. The first point he covered was the development of the squad ahead of the forthcoming season. When looking for a player, we're always aiming for the same objective. If you're looking to fulfill a certain position, you seek out a profile of that person that fits the bill at the time. And fortunately, we've been able to bring in the first option that we had in mind. A team which will be directed by the recently recontracted Manuel Pellegrini. The extension of Manuel Pellegrini's contract shows, firstly, that this project is a serious and long-term one. On the other hand, it shows that we're overjoyed with his work. We have the, one of the best coaches in the world and we want to make this project something great. And in the medium term, we aim to put Malaga amongst the greats of Spanish football. With everything almost done, Malaga is looking towards the end of the transfer market. We're moving towards the end of the transfer window quietly confident, but also on alert as many things can still happen. It's true that we've practically finalized the squad and there's something very special comes up, which it always could in the next month and a half. On alert because something may arise if you're off guard or asleep. What I can do is I can guarantee that 80% of the names that have come out I've never had any dealings with, not the players, nor the teams they play for, nor have we ever even been interested. It's been an active summer for the Blue and Whites due to the ongoing healthy economic period. Has this been beneficial or not for the club? No, siempre... Having economic possibilities always makes things easier. However, it doesn't mean that people can come and rob us blind just because there's money available, nor are we going to sign anything at any price. In fact, we've even taken things a bit easier as we understand that there are those who have wanted us to pause. We're trying to bring some order to the process and try to do things sensibly. Well, very advantageous, judging by the deals that have been reached. In the agreement, the players who have not been selected for the first team have their bills and expenses picked up by us, and in the opposite case, the players who are will have to pick up their own tabs. I think this is good practice for all Andalusian clubs, and I think it will be very beneficial in the long term. Malaga has financial backing at the academy and has to exploit it. Estando el equipo el último clasificado, se firma un director de la academia, ¿no? Being the team in the last place in the classification, director of the academy signed up. This shows that the club believes in the future. Following the arrival of Manuel Casanova and his appointment as director of the academy, we've started to organize and make plans. Antonio Benitez, a symbol of Malaga at a national level, will be Manuel's right-hand man in terms of management. We've created four different departments, the captaincy department, which they themselves will head, the training and methodology department, managed by Carlos Anton, the development department, which will be led by Julen Guerrero, and the sports psychology department, which tracks the attitudes of the guys focusing on their athletic and personal growth and behavior. Carlos Anton, el área de tecnificación que va que va a dirigir Julen Guerrero y el área de psicología deportiva para la que va a venir Unai, que viene de, del Bilbao para llevar todo lo que es la psicología, un seguimiento de las actitudes de los críos en su crecimiento personal y deportivo, eh, un seguimiento de los estudios, de su comportamiento, de, y haciendo que el crecimiento personal y futbolístico de cada uno... Seeing our guys develop as people is extremely important for us as we aim to give them the best possible future, because not all of them will make it as a professional player in the long term, and we want to help train them for whatever their future holds and to be good people estén bien formado como persona para que el futuro lo tengan bien encaminado y sean hombres de bien en el futuro. But the club has not only been busy on the pitch, the administrative side has also been in action with matters such as the arrival of Fernando Hierro. Oh, yo creo que Fernando, un... Fernando Hierro is an international football icon. To talk about Fernando Hierro is to talk about excellence in terms of what he did on the pitch and what he has done in the offices of the Spanish Football Federation over the past four years. Nowadays, one can be totally assured that everyone is doing everything possible to make sure Malaga is at the top of its game. A mí me gustaría ser el equipo de moda dentro del campo. I'd like to be a winning team on the pitch, of course. What happens off the pitch isn't important, as ultimately you become totally immersed in this project. But I'd like to win on the pitch and move as far and up as we can. That's the goal.